So I'm going to show you a solution that uses Bleacon and Memfault. This is actually really quick to accomplish. So we have here a uh, development board. You see here in the Bleacon console, this device is already registered. It's online and it's ready. So first thing I need to do is grab the project key from Memfault. Then I go over to the Bleacon console and I enable the Memfault integration. In the configuration, we add our project key from Memfault. And that's all we need to do. So on this board, we already have a firmware image that has the Memfault client integrated. So it's actually already capable of connecting to Memfault. And that means that as soon as I've enabled that integration, the data will start flowing. So you can see here in the Memfault uh, application, we can see the device listed. Uh, it's online. Uh, it's on version one of the firmware. So let's say our device has been running for a while in the field and we're actually seeing some crashes, some sort of um, you know, hard faults in the device. We can actually see that in the Memfault console. So we can see here that we're getting some crashes. We have a, a, a trace back and the firmware team can look at this and diagnose the problem and they can actually issue a new uh, firmware image that we can push over to these devices in the field. So in the... Memfault console, we're going to add a new firmware release. We're going to give it a version number. And we're going to add the new firmware image as the payload to that OTA release. When we upload um, a new firmware release, the devices will start to collect that and install it. So after a few minutes, we'll be able to see how the device software version has changed. So we can see here how the device is updated. It's now on version 101, meaning we've pushed a firmware image over Bluetooth uh, using Bleacon and the Bleacon Memfort integration.